Are you recording it? Yeah, I'm taking pictures and video no, for my you safety. Just, you know, no, you have to shut it off. It says right here. You need to go outside. You need to, need to step outside, outside. because step then it's handcuffs outside. afterwards. Right. So step outside. Sir, go the ahead. Sign is right here. I, that sign is not a law, Sergeant. Yes, it that, is. No, it's it is not. A law in it is city not a law. Are you doing the videotaping thing? Yeah, I'm just recording, oh, okay. taking some oh, pictures and video. I watch your videos all the time. You is the man. Nothing to do with what he was arrested for. I get it, but that's the way the NYPD operates, and most law enforcement agencies operate. They take your personal property. Hey, what's up guys? Long Island Audit here, back again with another video. We are currently outside of the NYPD's precinct here in Queens, New York. The same precinct that we were removed from unlawfully under threat of arrest for simply exercising our constitutional rights to record law enforcement in the course of their duty. Are you recording it? Yeah, I'm taking pictures and video no, for my you safety. You know, no, you have to shut it off. It says right here, members, that's supposed to record him. So if you have to record, you have to step out there. Sir, you cannot record here. Why would that be, though? I just told you. But that's that's not a law, ma'am. Okay. Sir, I'm, 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 I'm to, recording I'm, for my I'm, safety. Okay. I, you cannot record here. I'm recording for my safety, ma'am. You ma cannot record here. This I'm recording my for my safety. I, I, I'm trying to file a complaint. Here, sir. You cannot record here. I, my freedom and my property was um, taken from me by the sir, NYPD. I, uh, sir, my freedom. You can't do that I'm here to conduct business, sir. You're a sergeant? Yeah. Sergeant, I'm here to conduct business. My freedom and my and my freedom, my freedom. But listen, my freedom. That's perfectly fine. But I'm here to conduct business. What I'm saying is I'm here to get services. I, my freedom and my property was taken from me by the NYPD. I'm here recording. Yes, I was arrested. My freedom. We're going to record also outside. You. I mean, if you want to send somebody outside, you can do that uh, under threat of arrest. I have a right to record in public. I have the right to record the NYPD this in the course of their duty. This is 100%. This is 100% public. This is a public step lobby. Step this is a public lobby. I'm going to ask you to de-escalate a little bit. You need to go outside. Ask you, you need to, to step outside. Because outside. then it's handcuffs after. Right, so step outside. Sir, go ahead. I, that sign is not a law, Sergeant. Yes, it is. That, no, it's it is not. A it is not a law. Step outside. What law is it? Go outside, yes. pass the sign, and you it? can record all you'd like. What law is it? What law is you it? You cannot Sergeant? record in the precinct. That is the law. It's not it obstruction. Sir, back. I need Go. help filing a complaint. That's what I came here to do. Who's going to help me with that? That's, you cannot record inside. So the send somebody out here to help me file a complaint. Take your foot. Take your foot up the door. Okay, so send somebody, out here, so send somebody out here to file a complaint. I'm gonna have I want all your badge you. numbers. I'm I want all your badge numbers and names. Have it right there. So are you, you have it right there. I need to file a complaint, Sergeant. Are you Someone denying me services? Someone is going to help you. <laughs> As you can clearly see, it was not the most ideal encounter, to say the least. If you haven't been keeping up with the status of my federal lawsuit against the NYPD, here's the highlights. We filed for a preliminary injunction against the NYPD to prevent them from enforcing their unlawful and unconstitutional policy and to remove the no recording signs from the precincts. Federal District Court Judge Clark agreed with us and granted the injunction. Because the NYPD absolutely hates transparency, they weren't going to go down without a fight. So their attorneys then appealed the injunction to the Second Circuit Court of Appeals, asking the second highest court in our country to stay the injunction. On March 15th, the Court of Appeals issued the following order. Appellant moves for a stay of the preliminary injunction issued by the District Court. Upon due consideration, it is hereby ordered that the motion is granted except to the extent the preliminary injunction applies to the appellee, for whom the preliminary injunction will remain in effect pending further order of this court. This order stays the preliminary injunction to the extent it applies to the members of the public other than the appellee and to the extent it requires the police department signs to be removed or altered. So the NYPD didn't get their stay, but the court, for reasons unbeknownst to me, did modify the injunction. Until the conclusion of the lawsuit, the NYPD can keep enforcing their unlawful and unconstitutional policy to everyone but me. I obviously do not agree with their decision, but there's nothing I can do at this point. The federal lawsuit will continue, and when we the people win, the NYPD's anti-transparency policy will be no more. Now that we are all caught up on the status of the federal lawsuit against the city of New York and the NYPD, as well as the federal injunction status, let's do what we came here to do originally, and that's peacefully exercise our constitutional rights to promote transparency and accountability within our government. We have the order from the United States Court of Appeals Second Circuit here. 
nicely laminated. Let's get into it. Hello. Hey, how are you, sir? Good, how are you? I'm doing well. How are you doing the videotaping thing? Yeah, I'm just recording, oh, okay. taking some pictures oh, and video. I watch your videos all the time. You is the man. <laughs> <laughs> you is the man. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my phones too, man. They talk about it too. That's if you want me to document your encounter for transparency, I'm able to record in the precinct now. So just let me know, and I can. Yeah, if you want to document, yeah. I can uh, take away any personal information. Any personal man. information, I'll, yeah. I'll block it out, man. Not no, a problem. Man. Much better. Not a problem, man. Thank you. I appreciate the support. I really do. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> Right. There goes our friendly reminder that they're always recording us, even though it always seems to be an issue when we record them, especially in the NYPD. So a quick question for you. If I wanted to do a um, FOIL request, how would I go about doing that in station here, in the precinct here? I believe that has to go through headquarters. You don't have FOIL requests here at the station? Can I speak to a supervisor? Sure. Thank you. Always taking our personal property. My cell phones? I didn't even get arrested for nothing to do with my cell phones. Anything like it. They just like to take it just to mess with you, man. They they've had my cell phone for months. I got it back though, but eventually. So you gotta start at the court clerk's office, all right? When can I do that? At the Queens Criminal Court. Yeah. Whenever they're open. Business hours. Do you remember the command? No. So how do we get a phone? That's over here. Yeah. All right, that's over here. Yeah. All right, that was the seventh thing. So you think it was in the seventh? I don't understand. This is crazy. So how long did this take for me to get my phone? I have to get it. Uh, probably the same day. I think we go down there, they look it up, and they say, okay, we're releasing the video away. We come back here and get your stuff. Would it be the same day? Yeah, if, if the district attorney's office doesn't have any issue with, which, if it has nothing to do with your phone, it, you know, it shouldn't have anything to do with them keeping it. Like, they shouldn't have any reason to keep it. So if you if you talk to them and they give you that letter, Normally, if it's at property, they'll call down. I don't know how it works. That's when it's at the precinct. I've always picked up my property from the property, uh, the property office. But yeah, as soon as they release it, they have to give it back to you. It's unfortunate that they took it from you in the first place. It's just what the NYPD does. They take people's property, They're violating our Fourth Amendment rights. Such shame. So this used to be the entire public lobby here. At one point, you could see you would go up to the desk and you would make your complaint. But as is the case with most government buildings, they are limiting we the people's access to them little by little to keep us farther and farther away from them, farther and farther away from transparency, which is obviously despicable and something that we're trying to improve here with our activism. They can't go into your phone. They, they Well, they can, but they need a court order to go inside of your phone. Right now, they're just holding it as evidence for whatever reason, stupid reason that they give. They, that's what they do, you know? They just hold it and make you suffer. Right, it has nothing to do with anything, I know. I know, it has nothing to do with what he was arrested for, I get it, but that's the way the NYPD operates and most law enforcement agencies operate. They take your personal property 
the good news is they can't go inside of it without a judge signing off on a warrant, and a judge wouldn't do that. Um, but they are correct that they cannot release it to you without, if there's a district attorney's hold on it, you have to speak with the district attorney's office. Thank you, man. No problem. It. Thanks. I appreciate the support, man. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so according to the city's attorneys, they represented to the federal court that someone peacefully filming inside of a public lobby of the NYPD would cause chaos, it would invade on people's privacy, but as you can see here, the only member of the public that we were in front of while we were recording had no issue with the transparency, documenting his process with law enforcement, and that's what I want to do for everybody. That's why I am going to leave an email in the description of this video if you would like me to record your interactions with the NYPD in the publicly accessible areas. As I stated earlier in the intro of this video, right now I am the only one in the entire world, the only person in the entire world who is permitted, according to the Second Circuit Court of Appeals, to film inside of a NYPD lobby. Which is very unfortunate, as I said earlier, I don't agree, I believe we the people, all of us should have that right, but the federal case is still pending, it's just the injunction that was changed to only me. So at the conclusion of my case, that I'm sure we will win, we are on the right side of the law and the United States Constitution, the NYPD's precincts will be open for everybody to record. That is the goal of this federal lawsuit that I filed. So, we just have to wait till that plays out in the court system. The NYPD is certainly worried about people's private information being gathered and protecting their private information. They've sent numerous emails out to supporters who have emailed them and asked them why they're doing what they're doing. They said, well, the NYPD is, is committed to protecting people's privacy. Really? Certainly looks that way, doesn't it? Just having documents scattered everywhere in the public domain. Such a disingenuous argument, really is. This is about eliminating transparency, just like putting these doors and walls up are. Hey, Hi, sir, how are you? Hey, what's up? Good, good. Do you mind if I get your name and badge number? Yeah, yeah Sergeant Medina, 105 Sergeant Medina. Right here. Nice to meet you. Um, I just had a uh, quick question for you. Uh, does this precinct receive any guidance as far as recording inside of the, the public areas well, from the city's attorney? On it, you can record all you want in the public area. I hope nobody disturbed you today. No, no, I've, I've, no, no, not at all, yeah, sir. that's no problem. Yeah, you can record all you want. Oh, okay. Fine, yeah. All right. I just wanted to make sure to see what type of guidance the New York City's attorney, because I, I don't know if you know, I've, I've, I'm involved in a federal lawsuit with the okay. city of New York. Yeah. So I'm not sure. But right, that sounds but the, you received the guidance from somebody. You know, well, yeah, we were told that you know people are allowed to record in the public areas of the precinct. That's okay, right. great, and great, sir. As you are, and nobody has disturbed you. Home. No, 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 not at all, sir. Not at all. everybody's been very cordial to me. I appreciate that. Yeah, no, we uh, always are. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. I don't know, but I hope so. I mean, we we are. I don't know. I can't speak for everybody, but I, we, I know we are. Okay, because last time I came in here wasn't I came to this very precinct I can't one speak time. For everybody. Like I right said, there you I go. Wasn't there, but when, I, I thought when you were I'm speaking in, for the precinct. I'm in here, I make sure everybody's always cordial. And like, right. Okay. Great. I appreciate that, Sergeant. All right. No problem. Thank you Anything so much. I can help you with today, though? No, that's that's all I really wanted to know. That's that's okay. it. If you received all any right, guidance. Man. All right. Just wanted to make sure you were good. Thank you. Appreciate right, it. Pleasure meeting you. Nice right, meeting you. Again? Sean. My name is Sean. 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 Yep. Thanks. Thanks, Sergeant. Take care. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's uh get out of here. So that is definitely not true. I have seen the NYPD. Here you go. I have seen the NYPD treat people, including myself, very egregiously. I can't speak for that particular officer, Sergeant Medina, but from what I've seen, it's been pretty egregious from other officers, most officers here. We were thrown out of this building just last year for exercising our constitutional rights so it seems like there's a little you know i guess misunderstanding with the training with all the departments he says 
anyone can come in and film in the publicly accessible areas. Federal injunction from the United States Court of Appeals, Second Circuit, limited it just to me. So there is a, I'm not going to volunteer that information. I think everybody should be able to record in the publicly accessible areas. Again, it's not a law, it's a policy. I've been arrested two times, one at the 125th precinct and the other one at the 75th, right, 75th, I believe. And, uh, you know, I beat both of those cases. I believe the second case, the first case was dismissed. The second case was also dismissed by a judge and they are the Brooklyn District Attorney's Office and their superior knowledge and fight for anti-transparency is appealing that ruling to the second department in Brooklyn. At least they filed a notice to appeal. They haven't filed the actual appeal yet, so I'll have to be getting some appeal attorneys because not all attorneys do appeals. And you shouldn't have the attorney that represented you on your case do your file your appeal anyway. Uh, but again, it's just ridiculous. The miscommunication, all this for enforcing a policy, not a law, a policy that actually contradicts the law here in New York State and New York City, as well as the United States Constitution and the First Amendment. So it's a lot of work for no reason. Maybe while we're out here, we'll go to another precinct, maybe in Brooklyn or the Bronx. We'll definitely be exercising our rights in accordance with this federal injunction and promoting transparency. Like I said, if you have any sort of complaint you want to file and you've been intimidated by the NYPD and they violated your rights and you would like me to document that experience for you, I will be happy to. I will get to as many as I can. You can email me at the emails in the description of this video and just put it in the subject line NYPD and I will be more than happy to whether it's a complaint against an officer a criminal complaint that you don't feel comfortable making because you don't trust the NYPD there's a million reasons why you shouldn't trust the NYPD I can't think of any why you should all this for a policy so the federal court case continues they filed the motion to dismiss we will be having oral arguments on that in the coming weeks stay tuned to the channel I'll be doing a live after I get out of federal court to give you an update let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Everything, my federal court case, the NYPD's unconstitutional and unlawful policy that, you know, apparently I'm the only person in the world that can defy their policy or you will be arrested and then you could I, you could uh, file your own federal lawsuit and uh, so that doesn't make any sense to me. It's pretty clear that their policy is unlawful and unconstitutional, but again, the criminal justice system, the system is broken and it's by design it's broken for us we the people by design it is always skewed in the favor of government and that's why we're out here fighting for it but again your thoughts comment section i love reading your thoughts in the comment section make sure you hit the like button and share this video so this information can get out there to as many people as possible as always stay safe god bless i'll see you in the next video long island audit peace